Welcome back to my reviews of my favorite Transformers cartoon ever, Beast Wars. In today's review, we're taking a look at the season two episode, Tangled Web. In this episode, it's a love triangle, or is it more like a love quadrilateral? As Black Arachnia tries to break it off with her old abusive boyfriend, Tarantulas, while the new Predacon boy toy, Quickstrike, tries to flirt with her. But I think this bad girl may soon have her eight eyes set on the good boy Silverbolt instead. We begin with Megatron summoning his troops for some new chores. Why have you called me here, Megatron? I am engaged in important research on our new transmetal forms. Yes, I have no doubt you are. He has the spiders, half spider, metal spider, or otherwise, construct the new Energon Depot while the insects build a jamming tower. What is this, one of those RTS games? What precisely are you doing? Planning for the future. If that's so, then I believe you should construct some additional pylons, Megatron. Whatever that means. There are people who hate you because they've heard, you know, uh, you must construct additional pylons. <laughs> You know, it's like, I don't want any more pylons! I can't stop the pylons! As you command, my queen. Oh, I do wish you'd stop calling me that. I guess Megatron doesn't like Inferno using his pet name for him out in public. Actually, unless I'm mistaken, I think this is the first time we've heard Inferno call Megatron his queen. Maybe he's called him it before, but it was off camera. I like how not only is Black Rachnia the one organizing the work, but she also uses her feminine wiles to manipulate Quickstrike into taking some of her load. By the way, when Tarantula throws his spider signaling thing, he is missing the spider eyes on his chest. At the Axelon, Rhinox is conducting some tests on Optimus, who has some cables hooked up to his non-existent nipples. Hmm. Funny how this reminds me of when Starscream and his Combaticons did a similar thing in the G1 episode that I'll be reviewing this Sunday. Ah. Mm. This is more like it. Mm. You said it. Is this just the standard thing for Transformers? Hooking up cables to their chests? Back with the Predacons. Play whatever games you wish with him. <laughs> Dare to cross me, and you will suffer for your treachery. Yeah, this is a toxic relationship. Black Arachnia needs to get out of it fast. Aww, poor little spider drone. Tarantulas definitely should not have pets. Way to go! And we lost the signal. So what are we supposed to do now? Follow our noses, of course. Just follow your nose. Tarantulas proposes a spider alliance. What do you mean, all of us? You, me, and perhaps the Fusor as well. An arachnid trio aligned against Megatron and Maximals alike. I guess Black Arachna isn't into that idea. After taking another round of abuse from Tarantulas, she finally tells him that it's over. Hmm, this kind of reminds me of how in Gargoyles, Demona and Macbeth could feel each other's pain. Finally, Tarantulas gives in and severs his link with Black Arachnia. Yay, now she's a single black spider. Better save it for later, Big T. We got trouble brewing outside. Trouble with a capital M. Who taught you to spell, Quickstrike? Don't you know that trouble starts with a T? So the Maximals and Predacons fight. But when faced with assaulting Black Arachnia, Silverbolt's sense of honor prevents him from striking a lady. <sighs> no, my friend. It is not right to strike a female. Even a female Predacon. Then Widow's about as female as a piston! What exactly are you saying, Rat Trap? Are you denying Black Arachnia's gender? Hmm, 
Maybe I was right, and Blackarachnia was originally a male protoform that Tarantulas turned into a female. Or, you know, maybe he's just trying to insult her by saying that she's less than feminine. Which, I mean, come on. Who are you kidding, Rattrap? Have you seen Blackarachnia? I dare you to name a more feminine-looking Transformer. Okay, maybe that one. So, Tarantulas rigs the entrance of the cavern to explode blaming it on the Maximals. Because, as we'll see later, Tarantulas has decided to make this his new home. Well, this was an okay episode of Beast Wars. It did resolve the whole Tarantulas and Black Arachnia psychic link connection rather quickly. I guess maybe the writers changed their minds, or ran out of ideas to use with it. Megatron planning for the future does seem rather ominous, but I don't really see how these little projects relate to future events. And of course, we get the first hints of romance between Black Arachnia and Silverbolt. I can't wait to see more in upcoming episodes. So, what about you? What did you think of this episode of Beast Wars? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. And I'll see you here next week for the episode Maximal No More. Another very interesting episode of Beast Wars. So I'll see you back here next time for that.